disorder. Yeah. Doctors have worked really hard to figure out a name for it. It's called eating, followed by long periods of anti-movement. Um, and then eventually kind of morph into like a barca lounger with eyeballs. But I'm trying to do something about it. I went to see a doctor recently about liposuction, thought I'd give it a shot. But we kept getting into an argument because I was jealous of the before picture. Yeah, I was like, Doc, I'll, I'll take the kind of chubby guy, this fucking fantasy on the right here. What are you trying to sell me? Uh, that's not happening. You're telling me I'm going to look like that when I get the fucking unicorn afterwards and ride off on a dragon? No thanks. Give me, give me the fat guy on the left that's a little clear to me. I'll be happy with that. But um, it's not all my fault. I have to assign some blame. My fat is lazy. I have lazy fat. So if you look at me, just picture a fat avalanche. So like all this fat sort of just rumbling down this white doughy mountain, right? And so the fat stops and drops off a few man cakes right here. And then it gets to right here and that's it. It fucking stops. They're like, it's the fat Sherpas jump out and they're like, oh my goodness, we're done here. We're we're pitching camp right here and we're not going anywhere for the next 30 fucking years. That uh, crude Indian voice was sponsored by 7-Eleven. <laughs> Which, if you go to 7-Eleven at 3 in the morning too much, this is what happens. <laughs> uh, what, so, what else? Um, uh, I watch a lot of television. Duh. Body by TiVo. <laughs> And uh, I see these commercials that I think are total bullshit. I think a lot of the manufacturers are lying to us about everything we buy. So I thought I'd pitch a couple of new taglines for some products. Uh, Mountain Dew, give your diabetes a head start. <laughs> Budweiser, happily numbing your PTSD since 1968. No Budweiser fans out there? Like, corona? And my favorite, Match.com. Uh, first in relationships, first in marriages, first in anal awards. Oh, that's, that's what did it, the anal awards. Okay, sorry. But uh, there's also a show that I've watched recently. It's got a really bizarre premise to it. It's called Resurrection, where like dead people start coming back to life. It has a really weird premise, like there's an old guy mowing the lawn and his kid that died in like 1979 just appears. And this guy has long since blown through that kid's college fund. So 
I don't get the premise of it. But it got me thinking. I wonder if the apostles were pissed when Jesus came back. Right? They thought he was gone. They're sitting around that big table, kind of like a mob divvying up territories. Everyone's got the responsibility. And they look and they're like, oh, hey, everybody, it's the Son of God. It's back. I thought we got rid of that pushy Jew. What happened? Okay, no, no anal words, and no Jewish jokes with anal words on them. Um, I thought I would dispense some advice to any of the single guys out here. Uh, I'm married, but, um, you know, it's shocking. My wife got a real catch out on a boat with a huge test line in her reel. But I have a friend of mine that's a real ladies' man. He does really good with the ladies. And he has lots of different theories that he likes to test out when he dates women. I'm sorry, did you want to finish her? Oh, oh, okay. It's right up there around the corner. Thank you. Shine a light over here so the ladies get a clear shot of the back. <laughs> anyway, my buddy has decided that he's only dating girls that smoke. And it's pretty logical. He feels that girls that started smoking earlier kind of get a jump start on the whole beach program. So he called me and told me, he's like, Dan, this girl gave me the best low job I've ever had. My eyes curled back in my head white like a shark. My feet curled like the wicked witch's toes when the house dropped on her. He said, I, don't, I wasn't sure, but I think she might have been diabetic because I thought she was trying to suck insulin out of my top. Now, there is a downside to this. That he broke up with this girl, and now he's got to wear a nicotine patch on his balls. That's my time, everybody. Thank you.